A member for Murchison. Thanks, Mr. President. As a true non-conformist, I identify with the event I'm about to be speaking to members about today. I know that this year the member for Derwent has his visa in order to travel north of his border into the wonderful electorate of Murchison to experience the wonderful West Coast and the unconformity. Greetings, Mr. President. That's just in case the boundary changes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'll, be keep, I'll be securing that boundary, I think, Mr. President. He's got a little way to go to get to any settlement. <laughs> For those who may not know, the Unconformity is the rebranded and reborn Queenstown Heritage and Arts Festival. The Queenstown Heritage and Arts Festival has been highly successful um, over recent years, thanks to a small and dedicated team led by Travis Tiddy um, and Sandy Chilcott and many local volunteers. Based on the past success, some locals have questioned the change of name. It's important not to lose the benefit of past success as we strive to grow and remain relevant. I think that whilst change is challenging, it is also important to encourage people to think about what we do and why we do it. With the change of name, people are interested to know more about what is the unconformity, apart from one of the most exciting events that will be held in Tasmania this, this year, that is. So the unconformity, Mr President, is an area of rock that shows a geological break in time and is shown on the front cover of the program, which every member's got a copy of and is available online. When considering the question of why explore and change and, and why challenge um, this previous um, name, Festival Chair Sandy Chilcott quote, uh, says in the program, and I quote, Why try something different? Because we do not conform, we cannot afford to. Nothing here conforms. <clears throat> not in the mine-ravaged hills that rise to the rain clouds in such stark contrast to the lush green rainforest that envelops the rest of the valley and beyond. A moonlight landscape in the most unlikeliest of places, barren, rocky beauty. Or despicable environmental carnage inflicted in the pursuit of making money, a valley pillaged and ultimately exhausted. Or a geological marvel whose riches were only matched by the ingenuity of those who mined it. Is it this a sad old mining town that clings to a forlorn hope? It's it's iron, um, it's, so it's all bearing life iron will awaken from her slumber and yet again share her riches. Or a community embracing change, pursuing opportunities in a new creative economy and forging an exciting future with an eye on its unique century old past. The unconformity builds upon the momentum gained from our first festival in 2010. We have won awards and accolades, but it's the community that inspires and sustains us and compels us to grow. We see a remarkable place, home to a resilient and proud community, adopting contemporary values to overcome profound local challenges. We choose to celebrate what we have, a town that is a paradox, incongruous, where cultural contradictions jostle for, att jostle for attention. Grass sporting fields, weed and gravel. For those with imagination, boldness and belief in the transformative power of the arts, Queenstown is the perfect place for a festival." End quote. So Mr President, the unconformity will showcase the ancient and historic aspects of geology and embrace the present. This will be achieved through an amazing, amazing range of events that will stimulate and excite all your senses. Events that you will hear, feel, see, taste, touch and be able to participate in and immerse yourselves in. The, as I said, the program is available online. If you have a look at it, there are so many options. Um, it, it will be impossible, even though I'm going to be there the whole weekend, to go to all of them. And there are really too many to describe here, but I encourage members to look at the, the, the program. From the rumble to participatory, participatory art, which, um, such as We Are Mountain, where you travel at twilight through the vast geological bodies of Queenstown, where you'll be, we would do your best to become ancient, one spoonful at a time, to all forms of art, performance, visual, musical, historical, and much more, culminating in the grand finale, the Unconformity Cup an epic encounter on Queenstown's iconic gravel oval between the west and the rest. Okay. This heritage list of ground was built in 1895 and is still used today by the Darwin Football Association. A game clearly not to be missed. So when is it on, you ask? Yeah. Which <laughs> yeah, Friday the 14th of October to Sunday the 16th of October. And I encourage you all to book events and accommodation soon to avoid disappointment. 
you may have to stay in Strawn, Zeehan, Rosebury to actually, um, if you, you're doing bridge, um, if you don't get in early. I know the member for Derwent has booked his accommodation as I have 12 months ago, to be sure I didn't miss out. Yeah. I hope to see many of you there to experience the unique and truly entertaining weekend of events. It has a huge economic benefit for the region, a region much in need of such economic stimulus. The Crib Room opens 4pm Friday and we're serving the best of Tasmanian produce throughout the weekend. That's taking over the main street, as it has other years. And to close, Mr President, in the words of Sally Chilcott, the Chair again, there is nowhere else like it. We invite you to visit us, experience us, hitch a ride and share our journey, however brief and then find a rocky outcrop with a view of the valley and its mountains, preferably illuminated by the orange light of dawn or dusk, and decide for yourself. Dismiss us, understand us, come along and make up your mind. But when you come, when you come back, don't expect things to be the same. Mr President, the unconformity, no ordinary place and no ordinary festival. The Honourable Member for Hobart.